Well, it sounds like something from a movie. Our next guest claims she was raised by monkeys. Now, Marina Chapman says she was abandoned in the Colombian jungle when she was a child. Now, she's opening a bar up about living in the wild. <laughs> I'm not. Marina Chapman was born in Colombia, South America. She says she was kidnapped at the age of four and dumped deep in the rainforest. For five years, she survived on fruit and nuts. She slept in a hollowed out tree trunk at night and her only family were monkeys. I learned from them. She copied everything they did, including climbing trees, which today in her 60s, she can still do. Marina says she came across hunters at the age of 10 who sold her into domestic slavery, but she ran away and became a street kid. As a teenager, she was adopted by a local family. They moved to the UK where she later met her husband. Today, they have two daughters who convinced Marina she had to share her story. Well, Marina joins us now. Good morning to you. It is certainly an incredible story. Um, I'm, I'm sure, Marina, you've been asked this before, but how can you be certain that these things really happened and it wasn't the imagination of a child who went through horrors? I'm going to have some experts and researchers with me and I will be going to the jungle <laughs> to oh. see my friend Monkey and uh, we'll be spending some time over there and things will come up clear. Marina, <laughs> just tell us what was it like living alone in the wild and could you communicate with the monkeys? No, I couldn't, but I, I did it later. I recognised the sounds or the food, the sounds or the danger and a few things, but not everything. Okay. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't climb trees like them. But eventually, I did. After I did it for so many days or weeks, I don't know how long it took me, okay. but it felt like it took me forever. <laughs> so after you lived with them for five years, you then um, you fled. You left the jungle and became a street child. What was that? Yes. How was the separation? Because if, if the monkeys were your family, tell me why you felt, why you left? I, um, I didn't know. I just, I felt this couple had a nice friendly face. I decided to come up for them, but they weren't impressed. They didn't smile anymore. They, they were shocked to see me. But mm. eventually they took me with them, but I didn't want to go with them because half away I was changing my mind. I wanted to go back to the monkeys. Mm. Unfortunately, it was too late. Already they put me in the truck. Mm. So I was on the boat. So I, I did wish to go back to them. Yeah, I did. It was rough in the jungle. It wasn't easy life. It was difficult to find food. And it wasn't easier. Mm. It was too frightening at night. What are, what are monkeys like, like to live with? Do they, do they sort of have families like human beings do? And yes. Are they caring and nurturing? They do, yes. And they, they are like children. You mm. can react with, you can, you know, talk to them and it just behave like children and they are inquisitive and they don't share the food with you. Oh, <laughs> you've got to get your own. Um, can you give us, a, you were saying you could communicate with them, you knew the sound they made for, say, danger and food. Can you give us, can you give us the sound for danger? Um, okay. <laughs> it's been too many years, it's been nine years since I've been in the city, but I can always recognise the, the lone one, the lone one. Right. It's the danger. Okay. But when I go back there, I think I will re remember or I'll recognise something. Okay. But it's been a long time in the city and it's been 50, probably 59 years in the city, okay. learning with people. Well, Marina. And it's very tough. It is a fascinating story. We look forward to the movie. Thank you for joining us. Marina's book, The Girl With No Name, is out now. It's an extraordinary story. Mm.